the, I, I think th there, there are really two fundamental paths. History is going to bifurcate along two directions. One, one, one path is we stay on Earth forever, um, and then there will be some eventual extinction event. Um, I, I don't have an immediate doomsday prophecy, but there's, it's eventually history suggests there will be some, some doomsday event. Uh, the alternative is to become a space-faring civilization and a multi-planet species, which uh, I hope you would agree that is the right way to go. Yes? Okay. Mars Day is 24 and a half hours, um, and it, in general, Mars is, is far better suited to ultimately scale up to be a self-sustaining civilization. Just to give some uh, comparison between the, uh, the, the, the two planets, um, that they're actually fairly, they're remarkably close in a lot of ways. In, in fact, um, we now believe that, that early Mars was a lot like Earth. And in fact, if we could warm Mars up, we would once again have a thick, a thick atmosphere and liquid oceans. We just need to change that bottom row. Because currently we have 7 billion people on Earth and zero on Mars. We go from these early exploration missions to actually building a city.
So there is, is really uh, quite close to what we will actually build. Uh, it will look almost exactly what you saw, like what you saw. Um, so this is not, not, not an artist's impression. These, um, the, the simulation was actually made from the SpaceX engineering CAD models. So this is not, you know, it's not just, well, this is what it might look like. This is what we plan to try to make it look like.